Hello YouTubers, my name is Axefactor. Today we're featuring some brand new TV missile gameplay thanks to the Battlefield 4 Summer Patch and we're going to be talking about that right there. Dusting, it's where on your screen you hit something whether it's a TV missile, HE or AP shell from a tank, a tow, RPG straw or small, you see the big animation of the explosion and then your enemy or opponent skates away with no damage or no mobility hit. Often leaving you in a fit of rage screaming dice please in the process. Again, this is something that's been around for a long time in the Battlefield franchise, specifically with anything that has some sort of lead or drop to it like the TV missile, RPG, straw, or small. But thanks to the summer patch, something happened. Now it's affecting primary weapons as well. So think dogfight. I've seen a couple videos on YouTube where a jet is laying into another one on a full pass and they might get three or four damage. I'm using the burst cannon in these two clips and you're going to notice that a lot of the shots simply aren't registering. You'll see me get a good rip into a little bird or scout then you'll see 10 damage jump up where if the little bird or scout is close enough you should have no problem killing them if all your shots hit and then of course they register unlike that forcing me to have to buy time to reload and stay on that target. So the first burst and a half really didn't register. So not only am I chewing through extra ammo, but I'm spending more time on that target, making me a sitting duck for infantry or other vehicles that might be lining up. The less time you spend on target, the better it is for you. Allows you to kind of prioritize everything else that's going on as I get disabled by a toe. So that seems to be a problem, even though DICE has done two different things in the code. The question is, are we waiting for a server-side patch? Remember, the big client-side patches are very slow. The server-side patches come early and often. Perhaps we're just waiting for a second part of this patch as I lob this TV missile over. Something you really couldn't do with the old TV missile. So let's talk about that. What have they done to the TV missile? Well, it's still just as fast. It still has a reduced range. You cannot quick switch them anymore, meaning you can't shoot two in quick succession. You can exit them early, as you've seen me do, and more than likely will do again. So if that TV missile is on target or it's a close fight, simply hit exit vehicle when it's on the way, when you're sure it's gonna land. But again, due to the dusting issue, even stationary targets, whether they're land, air, or sea, have been affected by this. So don't count your eggs before they're hatched, more than likely, with the TV missiles. But they are more maneuverable as I dodge that incoming TV missile. So you can bend them again. One of the things that DICE did is there's a vehicle sensitivity option in the game for all platforms, not just PC. When I came back to the game, my TV missile was way too high. My attack boat turret, my tank turret was way too high. So I've done more than halved my uh, sensitivity value. I'm playing around 6% or so, and it even seems a little too high because the TV missile has always had a little bit of input lag, but it seems to be a little bit more quirky than it was before, which is fine because you got some positivity in that. You have more responsiveness to it, and of course, you can bend it on larger angles. But remember, due to that range reduction, you can't just destroy everything on the other side of the map anymore. You really have to pick and choose your targets wisely, because there is a certain time to live. And of course, you still have the gray period. What's that? When you shoot a TV missile, as soon as it goes gray screen, the actual TV missile doesn't die. It'll continue to go another 50 to 75 meters. So if you have that air or land target lined up, even though it gray screens, you'll be able to reach out and touch them. But you have to be very careful. As these become more responsive in the air, the more you bend it, the less distance you're going to go, basically. So here you see me trying to prioritize incoming targets, use some rocks to shade from the big nasty attack boat, and that's what it should look like when all the shots register. If an attack chopper, little bird, or scout gets close enough and you hit them on your side, it registers on the server side and spits back those hits. That's what it should be pretty much every time. So the TV missile still does big damage to the scouts and the little birds. It actually does 90 plus, which is great because it used to do a lot less than that a couple patches ago. Jets, whether it's stealth or attack, it will still one bang them. And here's the biggest change and the most fun change. Carrier campers. Of course, the carrier AA is gonna automatically shoot at you, so you kinda have to fly it in low, but the splash damage has been increased from 1.5 to 3 meters. I believe it does more splash damage, allowing you to kill infantry with ease. You used to really have to road kill infantry with a TV missile, which is very hard to do, and sometimes it just goes through the player. But now there's splash damage. So what does that mean in your attack boat fights? 
try to aim for the back as you see me early exit that one so I can regain control of my act attack boat, potentially dodging another TV missile. That's the main reason why you'd want to escape your TV missile, is to bring on your primary damage earlier than, of course, be able to do the little dance. So what I found is I was actually killing people on the back of attack boats pretty consistently. So if you hit that midsection or that back section, more than likely you're going to register a kill or two, which never used to happen as that TV missile goes through a player on the carry again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video on the new TV missile. It's a lot of fun when it's not dusting, but again, there is a problem in the game with a lot of different vehicles and even primaries. What do you guys think? Let me know down below and thanks for watching.